Don't make something that you don't like in your life be your new normal. Deal with it, work through it. Hi guys, my name is Yama Bereshaita and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am a spiritual empowerment and mindset coach and today's topic is going to be about anxiety. I'm going to name the tips and tricks and also the methods that have helped me get over my anxiety. So everything you're going to hear today has been tried and tested by me. Make sure you watch the whole video to get all the tips and tricks. And without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So anxiety is something that a lot of people in today's society struggle with and it is seen as something completely normal or has been labeled as being normal. And a lot of people only deal with it when it's severe, when it really becomes a big problem in your everyday life. And that doesn't have to be that way. You know, anxiety should not be the norm. And I'm, I can't wait to share the tips with you that I have in store. The one thing that I recommend to everyone is the Wim Hof breathing method. And this method is absolutely insane. It's so, so, so helpful and so, so, so simple. And I'm gonna link his video in my description box below. So make sure you check that out. And whether you're struggling with anxiety, sleeping disorder, stress, whatever it might be, this method can really, really help calm your nervous system because that's what it's all about in the end. And it's super simple, but you'll see a huge difference right after you do it. You're going to be so calm. Your body is going to be fully, completely filled with oxygen. It's going to feel so, so, so good. And you're going to be calmer. So make sure you check out the Wim Hof breathing method. So yeah, that was my method number one. My method number two is being in the present moment. That is what's really gonna help you calm down the nervous system and decrease the anxiety. You know, when you think about it, the now is everything that we have. We don't have the future. We don't have the past. The now is what we have. We can work with the now. You know, in order to change the future, we have to change the now. Everyone knows that. And that's what we really do have to realize and make the best of the now. It sounds so simple when I say it, but it's actually a practice that we just have to teach ourselves in our everyday life. When we see ourselves procrastinating and worrying about the future, just catch that thought and bring it back into reality. The best thing that you can do is actually focus on what you're doing now really focus on whatever it is you're doing. If you're watching this video, focus on watching this video. What you're gonna do after, you're gonna do after, but right now you're watching this, so focus on it and get the most out of it as you can. That's really gonna help you because when we have anxiety, and I know it for myself, you procrastinate and you worry more and more about the future, blah, 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 blah. But if you concentrate on the now, make the best out of it, the future is going to be easier. That's the way it is, you know, and I have an awesome video on how you can really focus on the now and a great book recommendation. And I'm going to link it above right now. So guys, if you've come this far and I haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe by clicking the button below and also give me a thumbs up. So method number three is affirmations. And I asked myself, what affirmation would be really beneficial when it comes to anxiety? And I personally believe that when I have anxiety, I feel like um, I've lost control of something and that gets me worried. So an affirmation that I really find amazing when it comes to, you know, lowering, lowering the level of anxiety is... Um, the I am in control affirmation. Because what I've come to find is when it comes to anxiety, a lot of people feel like they're, they've lost control over a situation or that they're behind or something like that, that they're not 
gonna achieve their goal, whatever it might be. And that causes stress and that causes anxiety. And what I found is the I am in control affirmation is really, really helpful. And I have a video on how you can use affirmations and I'm gonna link that above as well. So make sure you check that out. But basically, it, even if you might not believe it straight away, in the morning, after you wake up, looking your, at yourself in the mirror, just say, I am in control. I am in control. And keep repeating that. And you will feel more confident and you will feel more in control. I personally think this affirmation works wonders for me. And um, whenever I feel like, oh my God, and I'm procrastinating and I seem like I'm not, you know, I'm working myself up and I'm not working as fast as I want to or not being as productive or whatever it might be or if I'm worrying or whatever the case is, the I am in control affirmation is really awesome, really, really good. Try that out. Comment below, I am in control and start doing that affirmation on a daily basis and tell me how it goes. So my method number four is journaling. Journaling is really, really, really good for just scribbling down all of your thoughts, writing down everything that you feel on a daily basis. Journaling really does help you get your mind off things and get all those thoughts on paper so it doesn't feel that clustered in your mind anymore. For example, when I feel overwhelmed or I think like, oh my god, I have so much to do, or whatever it might be, I just journal my thoughts and I've started journaling a long time ago and I really noticed that it has helped me. And nowadays I still journal, but I do it every single day right now. And it really does help me get my mind off of things, put everything on paper, even if it's three sentences, it doesn't matter how long it is. Just writing down your thoughts and feelings can really, really help. I remember when I was a little girl, I used to have a diary. And when I became older, I was like, no, I don't need a diary anymore. But actually, that's what journaling is. It's keeping a diary. It's keeping all of your emotions, your thoughts, your happy moments, your sad moments, everything on paper. And when you look over your journal, after a year, you can see the progress that you've made or how you've overcome difficult situations. It's something beautiful to have and it really does help you get over anxiety, whatever it might be. It's very therapeutic. I think that's how you call it. And um, I can really recommend it. And my method number five is prayer. And for those of you who might be religious, you would be like, of course, prayer. Awesome. Yes, I do that every day. And for those of you who are not that religious, all I can say is prayer has really helped me build up my faith, my hope, my belief in my everyday life. And that connection to the divine and feeling more in alignment has really grown um, after I started praying, and I've been praying for years now, maybe even a decade, and um, all I can really say is it really does help if you just want a comforting feeling and if you just want to feel kind of good again. That's what I can really recommend to people who are religious. Look, start doing it again, start doing it more often, you know, and for people who aren't religious, maybe look into it. Like for me, it's extremely beneficial. I feel, as I said, so aligned, so good, so calm afterwards. It's the best form of manifestation. If you aren't into prayer, then just do a gratitude list. That's also absolutely amazing. It's really gonna help you. Just name five things that you're grateful for every single day. Write them down on paper after you wake up in the morning or before you go to sleep. Name five things that you're grateful for and it can be anything. And what it will do is it will shift those negative thoughts into more positive ones. You're going to feel more positive and more happy after you've mentioned it. It's going to shift it all on the things that you have and not on the things that you don't have. 
And tip number six is probably a tip that you're going to see in every video that has to do with anxiety. I personally can really recommend going to a ther therapist if you feel like your anxiety is getting out of control, that it's getting in the way of living your life. There is nothing you can lose with therapy and there's so much you can gain. And frankly, there's nothing wrong if you're going to therapy. A lot of people see it as something not good or that there's something wrong with you, whatever it might be. I know so many people that go to therapy and even if they don't have those huge problems, just little things, a therapist will really explain to you how you can make the most out of it, how you can change it around, why you've been thinking this way, why you've been programmed this way, you know, it's very beneficial and I can really recommend it if um, none of these tips, tips are helping and if you feel like anxiety is getting the most of you. So my last tip is working out. Working out is amazing. It really will help you get your mind off of things. It's going to get you in a more positive mood. You're going to be proud of yourself. And by the way, if you've ever had this experience, and I know I have, you tell yourself, I'm going to work out. And like four seconds later, you don't. You decide not to. And it's because of your ego. Your ego kicks in and tells you, no, don't work out, you know, don't do it. You have, you're, you're going to be tired, whatever. Your ego kicks in and tells you, after you've made the decision of working out, no, I'd rather not do it. That's your ego that's talking to you. So remember that next time you decide to work out. And if you feel overwhelmed at whatever time of day, whatever it might be, just do your affirmation, I am in control, and really feel yourself saying it and believe those words, and it will definitely help you. So guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you love my tips. I love making this video for you. Comment below, I am in control, and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Also hit the bell button to be notified whenever I upload a video. Feel free to share this video to spread the word. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Oh, I have two more things to say. Make sure you join my Facebook group, the Heaven on Earth community. It's an awesome growing community. I do lives in there very frequently and we talk about topics like this and I answer Q and A's as well. So make sure you check that out if you're interested on learning more. And also check me out on my Instagram. My Instagram is your mind is heaven. And yeah, you can DM me on there and we can chat if you have any questions. Thank you again so much for watching and I wish you an amazing week. See you next time, bye.